to another room makeover and this room is my office my pride and joy um, it's a place where i get creative a place we use for work and it's a multi-functional room because sometimes a little bit of a dumping ground laundry and so on and so forth but i want to revamp it and make it brand new and really bring some new inspiration new styles and designs that i have been inspired of um, over a period of time recently and i really want to try and execute some of that in this space now i will insert a picture i'll stand aside i'll insert a picture of how it used to look and i'll insert a picture of how i want it to look The desk is going to be on this wall here. Generally, if possible, the best way is not to have your desk. Well, it's not it's not really good facing the wall, um, but I don't have that luxury of space. So I really want to try and minimise the space here. So that's the best way we're going to do that. And that's why I want a floating shelf. And then we're going to put this underneath that again to try and make use of the space well. Um, and yeah, some artwork probably on this side. I'm going to keep this but restyle it and use it a bit better. You never know, I might change my mind. And this is the colour. This is the colour that I'm going for. Um, again, if you do want things to look high end, it's better to do all four walls. So it's, you know, collectively it comes together. But because I want to use, I need a white background to do some YouTube videos. And make like a studio feature wall i'm keeping this wall white and then we're going to paint that wall that wall and that wall so i've just got i've just put baby down to sleep him and i've just got changed into my diy gear these are very old jeans and an old t-shirt um hubby has helped me to take the tv off and i've also taken the blinds off as well so ready to go um now i'm just going to prep the walls I don't know if you can see, but all these scratches on the wall, when I painted the first coat, bubbles came up. Like, I always have issues with painting in my house, there's so just one thing or the other. But just a few bubbles came up, so I just used a, a pin to burst them, flatten them, and then I just sanded them down. So hopefully these will hold. They're quite, it's quite nice and flat now, so yeah, should be good. Uh, and yeah, I'm just putting masking tape around. Like, that is the worst bit for me, painting, is the prep and work. I can't be bothered. Like, when I do that bit, it really pulls me off. But the actual painting, I find very therapeutic. But the prepping, is annoying. So I haven't done this side because I want to start off this wall and see how it's going to look before I see how I'm going to extend the colour around the room. So yeah, let me do some more prepping because I need to do it up there. Um, and then I'll show you guys the paint. So I've got the paint. This is the coat paint and it's in Sunday Soul. Oh, I'm absolutely in love with this colour. It's so beautiful. It's like really yummy. It has like an undertone of brown, uh, beige, white. It just, it's really soft and warm. So yeah, this is how it looks on the wall at the moment. But as I said, I want to start off with the wall first and then see where I'm going to move to. The wall is so imperfect, but I'm going to embrace that imperfection and kind of go on like a lime wash kind of technique. Let's see how we go, but yeah. So a part of me is tempted to get this. Um, and this was actually Hubby's decision. He likes this one. It is very very rustic but as I said it's a bit difficult because of what I'm going to be using it for I thought this would be straightforward but it's not I have seen one here but it's giving me laminate flooring vibes <laughs> laminated flooring vibes Nothing wrong with it, but a bit weird to be on the wall. I don't know. It's not the look I was going for. Oh, let me come in the sunlight. Loving the sun. Yes. Anyway, so I'm now in home base. Very disappointed. You know, you're just thinking like, why is nothing going like to plan? 
you know the thing is i'm trying to do this on a budget i can easily just go online and just order something even though i haven't actually looked properly but i know it's out there what i envision in my head however i know it's going to be expensive and plus i want to be able to play around with things i don't want it to be a long-winded kind of scenario if i need to send it back so it, it can't just be any of those like independent stores or ebay because it's going to be difficult to send back most of the time so yeah let's hope that home base has something for me and yeah let's just hope so i found one it's the color that i want so this is the color that i want it's like mango so it's dark um and i do like the kind of wood effect to it it looks more real but then i've also seen this one that has that kind of rustic tone to it and i like the wood effect on that as well um and that one's on sale for £12. So I don't want to buy the smaller version yet. I want to take these home and see which one looks better against the wall. Then I'll come back and get the smaller version. At least we're getting somewhere. At least we are getting somewhere. So yeah, let's go home and try these out. Okay, so I'm back in my office. Um, I'm going to put these shelves against the wall and see how it looks. Um, so yesterday I mentioned that I was going to paint this wall, see how it looks, and it looks okay. Obviously white is brighter, but it isn't a very dark colour, it's quite muted and still quite nice and warm. So I think it will look really nice against here. I like the fact that when I walk into this room I just have the white walls against the window and the, the light, as I said, is behind and it's bouncing off this wall, so it looks okay. Um, I hope I'm even making sense, but yeah, so I need to... Paint all around the door frame. If, hmm, I just thought Sophie, I was gonna leave the door frame white. What if I painted it all the same color? That would be cool. Let's see if I've got enough paint for that. Okay, so the wall is painted. It's looking good. Are you ready to see it so far? Come, come with me. Look at it. How gorgeous is this colour? So, so nice. And can you see the contrast it's given with the black? It's giving me vibes. I absolutely love the colour. I'm very, very happy with it. There was a bit of trouble getting the shelf because I had this vision in my mind, but I completely forgot that the floor is grey. So I have to be quite smart with the kind of wood that I'm going to put here, otherwise it's not going to go, it's going to completely clash. So, and obviously I want to minimise the space as well. So, oh, there's a fly. Oh. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So I need to get a desk. I want to get a desk that I can fold away. I found one on Amazon. I really hope it's going to be okay because it is very cheap and I don't want it to look cheap. So I'll get it and see. Maybe I'll have to paint over it. Maybe add a little bit of finishing touches. Um, but it can fold away, which I think is quite practical. So if I'm not using it, it can fold away and then I'll have more space in here. So that's the plan. Change the design again. I'll probably have to show you a clip of another design when I'm almost finished. Um, but yeah. So I've gone for this, which I think is so cute. Got this off Amazon for only £40. Only £40. This is a space saver. And I was really impressed by the quality because it actually does look very good. Like I thought it was going to look a kind of weird gold, but the gold is actually gold. So simply open this up. It's a bit dusty if you had to pick it up yesterday. And yeah, that is your desk. That is a desk. Um, how compact is that? And then it fits really well with the chair. The chair will just go here like that, as you can see here. Um, it is slightly higher because my husband did it and he's, his torso is obviously longer than mine. So when I sit on it, it's a little bit too high for me, but I can work with it. I'm not stretching out too much. But yeah, at a distance, you can see the vision. And then I've decided to put this shelf up here and I still do like the colour of this. It looks... That nice kind of rustic um, whitewash kind of look. So yeah, so I'm gonna put some prints up there and then some styling pieces and probably some books. 
I don't know how much this could actually hold, so I don't want to put too much on there. And also we want to be simple and minimal with this design, so yeah. Hey, so I am out today to look for some deco items for the office um, to get some inspiration. I don't want, also I don't want to add too much stuff there because the whole space is meant to be quite minimal. Um, but yeah, I just want to see what's out here today. Please, if you want your house to look quite high end and expensive, avoid these signs of, of all course. Just don't do it. Don't. It's a big no-no for me. If it's your thing, go ahead. I'm not judging. Everyone has their own style and taste. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and it has texture. I tend to not go for pre-marked candles because they disappoint me every single time. But everyone keeps saying it's so good, it's so nice. I don't know what these people are talking about. I might just pick a really small one and give it one last chance. It's a full vanilla. Mm. Actually, this one might be nice. I like deeper scents. Yeah, and these colours go well with the room. officially stand in the office it is done for the most part just some few finishing touches but you know me I just keep adding on as I go along but the foundation of it is in place I am so excited to start using this place as my studio as my office as a creative space to be innovative and just yeah um, also my husband does use it for his work when he's working from home it's minimal it's yeah, such a calming environment, which I absolutely love. So yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys. If you've liked this video so far, please don't forget to like and comment. It's baby, she's here moving right now. Um, and subscribe, please subscribe. And if you subscribe, you'll get a notification. Don't forget to turn it on. And I will show you the full reveal of this office in my next video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you another time. Bye.